Today is July 9th. And the following is a recording of the agency report concerning the evidence collected on July 8th. The data that was analyzed includes the letter that was sent to a group of Trefoil Academy faculty, the envelope that contained the aforementioned letter, the schedules of the faculty members, other correspondence that the faculty has had with various parties, and descriptions of previous interactions with the West Guards. The type of analysts includes, but are not limited to, handwriting, fingerprint analysis, magical and mundane, and psychological profile. The conclusions that have been reached include, the villain profile does not include a motivation for greed or deception. Instead, a likely candidate would be either responding to blackmail or be seeking to make a particular point. There is evidence that confirms this pattern of behavior has been seen before when a certain house cup was stolen. Combined with this information, it is predicted that this may be a common characteristic among individuals who are employed with Trefoil Academy. The re recommended steps include looking for any possible clues around the physical location when exploring and assessing motivations of all possible suspects. Wait, correspondence with other parties? Can they, can they do that? It's amazing what kind of information can be obtained from stuff you think is private. I'm not sure how I feel about all this. I know it is important for us to have the information, and I certainly don't want to put the Academy in danger. This is exactly why I was wary of involving a third party. Tension means you get caught. I'm with Briar. Do they have personal writings too? Well, nothing is ever truly private anyways. There are three things only two people should know. Where you sleep, where treasure is hidden, how to catch your foe. Exactly. Magical Eye Detective Agency? Why does that name sound familiar? Oh, I think it was that agency that was on the front cover of Mage Weekly a few months ago. If I remember correctly, they had a brand new sleuth who joined the team last year, and since then, they've been on a roll. I wonder if that is the sleuth that's working on this case. The report is incredibly detailed. They only fast tune around, too. I don't like this. We've always solved our own mysteries, even when it was one of our own whether they were silly or serious. We've never had someone be an actual traitor to the Academy before. Whenever someone did something wrong, it was always for the good of the Academy, or another good reason. We don't know that it isn't the case here, though. There's got to be some explanation. I know all of you. You're all loyal to the Academy. Agree. We've thought that about people before. But this is big. We were ambushed by West Guards. I'm still irritated that I miss stabbing them uh, at point-blank range. Actually, the Magic Eye Detective Agency said they may be proving a point. Or blackmail. Don't forget blackmail. Who here hasn't been blackmailed before? It's like a rite of passage. Receiving or sending it. Would it count if someone was being paid not to act? Did you get the money? Not helping again. We need to get to the bottom of this. For the good of the Academy. Always for the good of the Academy.